we have learned physical and mental plane in our last video let's start today with emotional and intuitional plane so let's talk about the emotional plane that is today okay see it, we we learned that uh, many letters in the emotional plane indicate that your initial reaction to events and circumstances is emotional so you react emotionally your heart responds immediate before the brain okay usually the heart rules the head okay. you are vulnerable to the emotions of others also you are emotional and you are vulnerable to the emotions of others also mm -hmm. now if if you have a value of 1 in the emotional plane you are hyper emotional oh you suffer from nervous tension you get angry quickly you can become personally and emotionally identified with a particular project or person so much that you become deeply attached to the, uh, and even possessive you are demanding in love and marriage you are also domineering you need a strong willed and flexible spouse or colleagues mm -hmm. then if you are a two on the emotional plane See, two is already sensitive, hmm. so you are extremely sensitive and vulnerable. You have a great talent for tact and diplomacy. You dislike confrontation. You worry too much, and you need much love and understanding. You have to work on your self confidence. You are a perfectionist, and you add beauty and to everything you do. You dislike working alone. Okay. You always need someone, and emotional, no, because they. the need is emotional it is not a physical kind of need for a three three is a romantic heart no creative and imaginative you can be disorderly and disorganized you are also moody you have much artistic talent especially in writing acting singing that's all four on the emotional plane you want to control your emotions see four doesn't like to show its emotions true so four likes to control uh, its own emotions you dislike emotional situation or turbulence but this repression can cause you much anger and even nervous tension so they are suppressing their emotions so this may cause anger and nervous tension so now let's talk about five on the emotional plane you have a curiosity about many people you love to meet new people travel and may have many love affairs long lasting relationships are hard for you to maintain you can be moody sometimes your observation is excellent now six on the emotional plane you are very emotional see wherever people already are emotional they become very emotional <laughs> yet you are balanced you worry too much and feel responsible for other people's actions you may be too disciplined you have artistic talent you help others and sacrifice your own needs you are a healer and a teacher you need much love and you are highly committed to your partner now let's look at seven emotional plane you are emotional but you have trouble expressing your feelings a typical seven others think you are cool and withdrawn you are vulnerable to emotional explosions you need to work on allowing your emotions to show this needs great trust and courage you have a sharp mind and intuition you have self control and dignity you perform best in a quiet place oh they need yes. solitude yes. anyhow now eight eight on the emotional your emotions are powerful and you tend to dominate in your personal and business relationships you are likely to be the controlling person in any relationship you are highly ambitious and competitive money and power are important for you and you are very status conscious <laughs> now nine you belong to many and you want to serve those less fortunate than yourself you are willing to make sacrifices for a worthy cause you have difficulty in one to one relationships especially with the opposite sex you are possessed by your dream you have an enormous artistic talent in variety of arts such as interior design photography acting writing you are compassionate idealistic and impractical 
No, 11. Hmm. You are highly emotional, intuitive and extremely sensitive to your environment. You are aware of what others are thinking. You enjoy beauty and harmony around you. You are tactful and diplomatic. You have a gift for saying the right thing at the right time. You are extremely vulnerable to stress. You have much nervous tension and you can suffer from nervous disorder. Hmm? For 11s, you know, life is not easy. Anywhere you have an 11. Though we say that 11s are very brilliant, very intelligent, and they're, they're superior in many aspects. But then life is not easy. That's why they can suffer from nervous disorder. Now the last number is 22. You have power and drive of 22. You are practical, goal-oriented, visionary and devoted to plans and projects. The 22 does not concern itself with, with emotional affairs. Like a four, no? Like closed heart. Therefore this number when found in the emotional plane is always reduced to four. So 22 as per se doesn't have much importance here. Okay, now let's talk about the intuitive plane. Okay, it's also called the spiritual plane. See, it's, it's rare to have many letters in this plane. But if you have, you're almost like a psychic. Your reactions and experiences to events is intuitive. You act before you think and generally it is the right approach. So you get that intuition. No? Intuitively you know something and then you act. You don't think. Right. You spend, don't spend time in thinking. Answers come to you like this. Mm -hmm. You will experience a number of premonitions and you will have to learn to discriminate between fantasy, imagination and intuition. If you are, uh, you have one on the intuitive plane. That means you are highly intuitive with flashes of insight. You think your thoughts are due to your mental capabilities, but in fact they are insights coming from higher source. See, when we talk of one anywhere, no, one is closest to the source. Correct. When yes. you studied the symbols, no, you saw that one is closest yes. to the source. So they get directly from there. Mm. Now imagine 11 ka kya hoga. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, now let's talk about 2. You have a fine intuition. See, 2 is already an intuitive number. You are extremely sensitive to energies and you attract intuitive messages. 3. You are very original, imaginative and have fantastic ideas about spiritual matters. You are very artistic and inspiring. You have a talent with words which are uplifting. Your intuition is above average. But you tend to exaggerate your insights. Now four. Four, you are traditional and you like established procedures. You don't feel comfortable with abstract and unproven ideas. You prefer your ideas to be practical and conventional. Five, you are very intuitive and rely upon your insights. Your knowledge and understanding stretches beyond the limits of the subjects you have studied. You have an intuitive feeling about many different areas of life. But you need to deepen this understanding with discipline, focus and grounding. Okay, now we talk about, let's talk about six. Six is extremely intuitive and spiritual. You may get too much attached to your ideas and you may experience delusion. You have talent as a teacher or minister. You have psychic experiences often related to friends and relatives. So they have psychic experiences related to friends and relatives. And you should take these messages seriously. That means these messages are trying to tell you something. Convey some message. About friends and relatives. Okay. Now seven. Seven on the intuitional plane spiritual. You have great intuition and insight in abstract and metaphysical matters. You seek a broad perspective on all intuitive matters. You like to provide scientific and rational support to your insights. You have an inventive mind and have a talent as a writer or composer. Eight. Eight has a powerful intuition and much psychic ability. Though eight is an earth number, see still, 
because you know eight has two circles hmm. the lower one is the physical plane the upper one is the spiritual Spirit. plane so though it's an earth number generally we say that earth numbers are not very interesting but eight is very interesting because it's a balance between the earth and the spiritual plane hmm. so eight intuitions lead you to business and organize organizational matters you can assess people quickly and accurately you know these people are very good judges you know they can judge people very fast and it comes to them like an it comes to it comes to them intuitively they need, don't need to prepare for them now nine nine love the abstract you can influence large groups of people you are an idealist and a dreamer and not practical you are very impressionable but people may take advantage of your kindness you must learn to be more discriminating in your dealings with others okay. now 11 11 itself is a intuitive okay. number <laughs> so you are extremely intuitive and highly psychic your sense you sense things well in advance like coming upcoming uh, events mm. uh, or the and the changing moods of people you need to learn to ground yourself then 20 so first listen to four because four applies the most here 22 is grounded and visionary and concerns itself with the practical material world and the world of plans and ideas this number shuns the realm of intuition therefore always reduced to four so very few people with 22 will use that intuition because they have a 22 two 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 twos no so 22 is always Uh, because of two twos is very intuitive, but because when they reduce to four, they ignore it. Mm-hmm. See, twenty two is also double eleven, eleven plus eleven. If you really, if they are actually using that twenty two aspect, now they will be highly intuitive. But majority of them fall into a four. Mm-hmm. See, Pragati, when we talk of intuition, now there are many ways. Sometimes you. just close your eyes and you see things sure. now this is this is something like clairvoyance you could see which physical eyes cannot see so some people could be intuitive in that manner mm-hmm. this way uh then there's something called clair audience where you hear mm-hmm. you get verbal messages you know sometimes people tell that ek awaaz aayi mm-hmm. i some some voice told me this masters told me this Could be any yeah. the guides, whosoever you, whatever you call Correct. them. They could be Correct. their guides, they could be their guru, whatever, whosoever. Then there is something like clear sensations where you feel. Some people sometimes they say, "No, I feel it may happen like this. Mm. I have a feeling that this will be like this." They get that feeling. They, they can, there are some people who can see the future. that is people who can see the future then there are some people who gets who get thoughts different kind of thoughts say some, somebody is working on a project which needs mental involvement there is a project where you need lot of mental involvement so the thoughts will come now sometimes this thought may come uh, in the form of words or they may visualize or they may just, they just get you know we say gut feeling it's coming from inside we don't know from where but actually to intuition uh, some people are naturally intuitive by birth while some people can practice intuition you can become intuitive by practicing certain yogic practices or whatever you can you mm-hmm. can de- develop it you can there's a possibility see pragati this plane of expression planes of expression no it's a uh, it is one of the most complex card sections of the numerology mm. most complex because it is actually it's not very difficult to understand if you go step by step properly you will understand the subject very well okay so we have completed planes of expression today yes see i will tell all my viewers that if they go step by step watching all the videos one exactly one after the other the way we have released them yes okay they will understand a lot about themselves Right. See, after it is self discovery, yes. and self discovery will help you in self improvement. It's all about unfold the self. Okay.
Okay, then we'll meet in our next video. Till then, namaste.